Hi guys, Dean here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Living Room by Graham Greene. So this is a play. Graham Greene is one of my favourite authors, and uh, I'm like slowly working my way through all of his books, and uh, this is like one of the final few books that I haven't got to. It's a play in two acts. I would read you the blurb, but there isn't one. Uh, copyright 1953 by Graham Greene, and we're going to dive on in to my sticky tabs. So in Act 1, Scene 1, so James says, I sometimes think the young have worse nerves than we have. Age is a good drug and it doesn't lose its effect. Uh, the plot we're following is um, basically in this family house they close up the bedrooms when people die in them and that's why we get the title The Living Room because that's increasingly the only room that they have left to them. In Act 1, Scene 2, uh, this bit I enjoyed because uh, me and Susie, there's a, there's a meme between us with the word bastard because of Sean, Sean Bean saying bastard and also because I have a northern accent so I enjoyed this uh, Michael as she comes out again our children will be illegitimate Rose bastards are the best so Shakespeare says she folds up the pajamas and puts them in her case we did King John my last term at school the nuns hurried over those bits there was a nice phrase for bastards born under the rose I like that just doesn't sound the same in a northern accent Someone says that their old nurse used to say worries bring used to say worries bring worries, which is very true. So here we are in Act Two, Scene One. So uh, we have a conversation between James and Teresa, and I think this is interesting um, because they're talking about fear of death, which I happen to have. So Teresa says, um, "I'm afraid of dying, James, even of thinking about death." Then Rose came, and I seem to frighten her. It's a nice house. We aren't bad people. I don't know why there should be so much fear around. Perhaps your fear frightened her. Your silly fear of death. Is it a silly fear, James? No one who believes in God should be afraid of death. But there's hell, James. We aren't as important as that, Teresa. Mercy is what I believe in. Hell is for the great, the very great. I don't know anyone who's great enough for hell except Satan. Oh, poor Satan is lonely. Rose says here, uh, Since my last confession three weeks ago, I've committed adultery 27 times. That's what Aunt Helen would like me to say, and, Father, it doesn't mean a thing. We're supposed to be talking to God, aren't we, through you? And God knows all about the clock on the mantelpiece. I don't want to confess. I want to say, dear God, give us more love. Give us a life together. And then Rose at some point, and then Rose says, Uncle, please say something that's not Catholic. And Rose says, oh, love isn't all making love. I'd sometimes give that up to be together. At meals, come into a house where he is, be silent with a book in the same room. And Rose says there are 400 divorces a month, which I think, well, I mean, maybe that was the figure in like 1953, but I bet it's a lot higher today. 400 a day, probably, in the UK. And then Michael says she won't do anything. People who talk about suicide never do anything, which is obviously a very troubling thing to say. And um, also a lot of foreshadowing, because maybe she does do something. And that pretty much takes us to the end. So yeah, overall, pretty decent play. It was short and sweet. I mean, I think it was like 68 pages or something. Uh, it's two acts of two scenes, so not a long one, uh, which would make it decent for uh, like an Amdram performance or something like that. Uh, I'd love to go and see it performed. Overall, from just a reading experience, I gave it eight, four out of five, and I'm glad I've ticked this off because Graham Greene's one of my favorite authors, and now I'm like one step closer to having read all of his books. So there we have it, that's what I thought of The Living Room by Graham Greene. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought of this in the comments if you've read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.